Hey everyone, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to solve the problem of uh, minimum spanning tree. So here we are going to create a special subtree uh, using uh, Prim's algorithm. Let's see the problem objective. Given a graph which consists of several edges connecting its nodes, find a subgraph of the given graph with the following properties. The subgraph contains all the nodes present in the original graph. The subgraph of minimum overall weight among all such subgraph, it is also required that there is exactly one exclusive path between any two nodes of the subgraph. So these properties are almost similar to a uh, cross call algorithm what we have solved uh, uh, before. So here we are going to use a Prim's algorithm. So almost the logic will be uh, same, but the methods or the functions we are going to use is somewhat uh, different from cross calls. So let's see. Now this is the example. Uh, this is the edges we have here. Also, we'll be just choosing the edges with the uh, minimum weight as a uh, greedy and uh, avoid any additional uh, edges if you have like that. We will go and uh, we have also have the weights for that particular uh, vertices, right? So we are going to create adjacent matrix instead of uh, creating a adjacency list. So that is a different initialization for us. So starting from node one, select the lower weight edge and choose the choose between the remaining edges and uh, all nodes will be connected. Finally, the total cost uh, for creating the graph is like four and here one, two, three is not included because it's having the higher weight and it also have a cycle. That's why now let's see the constraints here. We have like 3000 nodes and uh, all the constraints are well within our uh, limit. So it won't uh, show any uh, timeout errors. If you have more recursion depth means uh, at that time, you just have to set that uh, recursion limit in Python. So that only you have to uh, uh, specify. Now here, this is the sample input. Uh, we have five nodes and uh, six edges we have. And uh, this is the starting node. So from the starting node, we have to create a minimum spanning tree. So that will have uh, like a straight line uh, kind of function. So currently it's having a cycle, right? So we'll be just removing this cycle and uh, create the uh, best uh, possible graph. So all the explanations are here. So for here, I will just explain. We will be just uh, leaving out uh, one edge that is uh, five, I guess, because to reach all the edges, we need to have at least one edge. So this one having a cycle, if you consider, yes, they have ignored this five because it's having the higher weight. So the graph will be like this one, three, one, two, five, and four, like that the graph will form. And it will also much better if we go through uh, with the code and we can trace the problem later. Now we have to perform some initialization. So initialization. First, I'm going to create a adjacency matrix. So create adjacency matrix. So graph graph equals a list again, a list minus one for I in range of n plus one plus one. Again for J in range of N plus one. So why I'm using N plus one? Because this is a one based indexing. That's why. And why I'm initializing with minus one? Because we are creating a matrix like structure, right? So if one node does not have a connection, let's say one and five doesn't have any weights means we'll be having a minus one. That means uh, it doesn't have any connection. So in this problem, while I going through some edges having weight zero, that's why I'm just initializing with the minus one. That means there is no weight or edges available for that connection. That's why I'm using minus one here. After that, we have to add the weights for the corresponding uh, index. So for X comma Y comma W in edges, edges sorry edges now here graph of x y 
equals w and graph of y and x equals w so in the adjacency list we would we would have appended uh, as a list without any uh, direct assignment but here this is a matrix that's why i am just directly assigning the weight and it's a bidirectional graph again bidirectional graph that's why i am just adding two times assign assign weights for the edges now we have to do few more initialization visited equals false this is also we have to initialize n plus 1 and uh, weights i will initialize with the uh, maximum weight initially maximum weight possible multiplies n plus 1 sys dot max size will just uh, return a value uh, that is the maximum integer value available so you can also just uh, mention it as like 999999 uh, to a maximum uh, value at least like 10 nines that is also you can do now after this for the starting node that is uh, here you can see this is the starting node one you will be just uh, specifying the weights as zero so weights of start equals zero so you will know uh, this is the starting node and there is no edge connecting to this uh, if you want to reach the starting node you can directly reach out so that's why we are just having it as uh, zero so the initializations has been done now we will go to the main logic main logic so for i in range of 1 comma n plus 1 so this is just we have to do it for uh, n times so you can also ignore this one you can also have it as n so it doesn't matter here so we will get the minimum index so find min index so this is the function we have to create I just pass the index and uh, visited so what we are doing is uh, we have to find the node with minimum index and from that node we will uh, see uh, what are the other nodes are uh, possible so I'm just uh, taking the starting node here so we will fill the function here find min index of weights comma visited now this function will written node with minimum minimum weight okay now here also min weight initially min weight equals this dot max size initially it will be the maximum size available and after that we will loop it for i in range of one comma len of weights again this is a one based indexing that's why so one comma len of weights now if weights of i is less than minimum weight minimum weight and visited of i equals false I'm just checking whether the node is not yet visited and uh, the uh, weight is less than the overall uh, weight. So if that satisfies the condition, I will have min weight, min weight equals weights of i and uh, min index equals i. So I'm just storing the index or you can also have it as a vertex. So both are same when you perform this operation finally you will be returning the min index so initially if you consider the weights everything will be like max size only the starting node is zero so for the first iteration you will be getting the starting node and after that 
you will be updating the visitor of u equals true it means that the node is already visited you don't have to choose that uh, index in the next iteration now for v in range of 1 comma n plus 1 let's go down now we have to check for the condition let's slide down now if graph of u and uh, v is greater than or equal to 0 because we have initialized with the minus 1 that's why I'm just checking greater than or equal to 0 and visited of v equals false and weights of v is greater than graph of u and uh, v I'll slide it again so I'm just checking uh, if the weight is uh, greater than or equal to 0 and the node is not visited and uh, from the weights index so here whether this uh, weight is minimum than the previous one if it has the minimum weight then it will enter the condition and weights of v we will update it with u of v so you will be doing this process uh, for all the available index so this will just check if the edge has minimum weight and update so this is done and finally so for this problem we are just updating the weights alone so if you are considering the main or the normal uh, prims algorithm you will be having the parents uh, list so you can know what is the parent of v so like that we will be forming like a chain and finally we will be having the parent so using the parent uh, list we can track the nodes what all the nodes are connected to each other in which order so that part we didn't do that here because the problem objective didn't mention we have to store the uh, order also we just have to find the weights so we are updating the weights here finally after doing all the operations we will have the total sum of the weights so weights of one colon again why i am using one this is a one based indexing so zero will be having this uh, max size that's why to avoid any errors or wrong answer you have to use this uh, uh, list slicing so starting from index one it will uh, add the total weights and return it let's run it once to check whether it is working or not yes it is working um, we can trace the problem so it will be better for us initially weights equals all will be infinity i'm just considering only this uh, five nodes so inf 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 so currently uh, we are just using uh, n plus one index that's why we have to just uh, leave this it doesn't matter so uh, one is a starting node means so we will be updating it with zero so one is the starting node and from that node uh, we are just checking uh, what are the other uh, weights available to other nodes so from one we have uh, one to one to two we have the weight so we'll be updating uh, weights of two that is two sorry three and uh, here we'll be updating one and three so we'll be updating weights of three that will be four so that is done and after that we, uh, this will be visited I will also have the visited nodes so visited equals false and we have to do the same for another five times okay 
so if it's done means we will make it as true then we will go to the next minimum weight that is 3 so minimum weight index is uh, 2 so from 2 we will be checking all the other nodes so if we check for all the other nodes we will update this as true and we will also update other nodes so 1 is already visit 3 is uh, having more weight so we will leave it 2 and 5 we can update so 5 is 2 and uh, 2 and 4 we can update so that will be 6 all the things are updated now now again it it will check for the uh, minimum weight which are have which are not visited so that will be 2 so this will return the index 5 so from 5 there are not uh, any other nodes apart from these two two is already visited as you can see here so it will skip this and mark this as true and uh, after that we have uh, four so four means the index will be three so from three one and two was already visited so this will be true and lastly only one index is remaining that is index four so from fourth index already two is visited that is the only available edge so this is also will be changed to true and finally we will be just uh, adding the total weights so this is the total weights we will be just ignoring this because of this list slicing if you add it 3 plus 4 is 7 7 plus 6 is 13 13 plus 2 is 15 so total weight is 15 that is the result we are having here so I'm just having it as like only two variables uh, when you are doing it in pen and paper you can have more variables and track step by step so it will be easier for you and also don't forget uh, for prims algorithm we also have a parent list so it will we will be updating the uh, parent when, when uh, whenever we are updating the weights so that is also uh, one parameter and uh, that's pretty much it let's run the code now you can see all the test case has been passed uh, that's it guys uh, if you like this video hit the like button and i'll see you guys in the next video